Hi everyone, in today's episode I'll show you how you can inspect and repair a power supply. Before attempting anything similar with mains voltage, it's crucial that you understand the risk involved in working with main voltage. If not handled properly, it can cause serious injuries and even death. The power supply I'm gonna repair is a 5V supply from an Android TV box that stopped working suddenly. When I plug it in the box, it flashes the LED for a fraction of a second and then it turns off. I measured the voltage on the end with no load and it showed the expected 5V on the output but as soon as I connected any load, the voltage dropped to around 1.5V, so I knew that the fault is somewhere on the output side. To open the case, there is a screw on the top and once open, you need to push on the case tab to open the case. Looking at the back of the board, there was nothing obvious but as soon as I flipped the circuit, there was a capacitor that was fully blown out of its case. I found a replacement and with the soldering iron, I first removed the broken one, I've cleaned the solder pads and I installed the new one making sure to keep an eye on the polarity. Fortunately for me, the polarity was clearly marked on the top of the board, but if you are doing a similar repair on an unmarked board, you will need to be more careful. To solder the capacitor flush with the board, you can add solder first to one of the pads without too much attention on the positioning. After that, you can reheat the solder and push the capacitor from the other side. After the soldering was done, I've cut the legs of the capacitor and then mounted everything back together in the case. This was an easy, straightforward fix that's really typical with such power supplies. Capacitors often fail over time, so be sure to check yours for any bulging, cracking or a complete separation as in my case. If you liked the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for more similar videos and projects. Cheers!